Did you know that in the Hokage's office, you can actually do special missions that actually allow you to execute other players in your lobby? What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another Shino Light video. It's me, your boy, EJO. And today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about things you more than likely did not know in Shino Life. I mean, you probably knew at least a few of these. Come on, be honest. You knew maybe a couple of these or possibly more. But these are going to be a bunch of things that you possibly didn't know before you watched this video and yeah don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications buy my merch from the roblox group store it is linked down below to my group go to the group go to the store buy the merch i'd really appreciate it helps me out for my future videos and without further ado let's begin oh yeah i forgot to mention this but let's get the like goal to like five likes if we get five likes in this video i am not gonna quit youtube so you better like the video Did you know that Gen 2 Tailed Spirits actually have a very exclusive form? This form is actually called Tentacion Mode, and it can only be used once your Tailed Beast is at max level. To use this, all you're going to want to do is go into your Tailed Spirit, and then type in the chat Tentacion with an exclamation point at the beginning, and then you go into the Tentacion form, which is the Tailed Beast's strongest form. Not only will using this reset your MD to max, but you also get very good stats and you're super fast. And on top of that, the Z spec actually allows you to summon a Tailed Spirit as well, to where it'll actually fight the other players instead of just spawn. However, if you lose this mode, uh, whether you die or from the mode draining out, you actually won't be able to use this mode again for 15 minutes. However, you can actually bypass this by simply joining a new server. And I know a lot of people have asked me this, but no, you do not permanently lose your Tailed Spirit mode once you use Tentacion. You just get like a 50 minute cooldown and that's it. Did you know that all the sub abilities only drop one scroll except Tailed Spirits? That's right, if you defeat a Tailed Spirit, not only do you, do you get a scroll, but your friends can also get a scroll as well, because uh, it actually drops three scrolls instead of one. Did you guys know that Ryuji and Ryuji Kanichi are one of the only bloodlines that don't use any chakra to use? Like, literally all of the Jutsus, all they require is stamina, and they don't need any chakra. So it's really useful for players that don't want to use their uh, chakra as much, they can use Ryuji. Did you know that Captain Jokai is the rarest scroll in the entire game? It's a mode and it actually has a 1 out of 500 chance of spawning and it only spawns for around 25 minutes Yeah, I guess you could say that anyone who has Captain Jokai is either really lucky or a hacker Did you know that you can get game passes for free in Shindo Life and Bloodlines? By beating these dungeons, not only do you get rel coins, but there's also a chance of you getting an exclusive bloodline and an exclusive game pass for example, this one has a 1 out of 70 chance of Arahaki Jokai, and it is extremely rare that you can get the, an emote game pass, and it's a bonus drop. And all these actually have different passes that you can be able to get. For example, Shindai Valley actually gives you a chance of getting Shindai Akuma and the Bloodline Bag. And yeah, all these do have their own exclusive game passes and bloodlines that you can get. Did you know that if you wanted a beard in Shino Life, your account's age had to be 18 plus to get a beard? Yeah, that's kind of funny, isn't it? Did you know that if you had an outfit that you really wanted to save, you can actually save it in your My Home? To get here, it's actually in the game mode selection as well. You just want to go to your apartment. To save and load your avatars, all you're going to want to do is come here and you can actually save an outfit. If you want to load up a previous outfit you have, just go to the outfit slot and click load. And look at that guys, I'm Spongebob Squarepants. But I want to go back to this character for the video. Did you guys know that certain modes are actually banned from competitive? A few examples actually include... A, a few examples include all the tailed beasts and Ryuji. And there's actually quite a few other ones that actually are banned as well. So yeah, make sure you check before officially using your the mode in competitive, just to make sure it's not banned. And yeah, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like for a part two if you guys would like to see a continued version of this video where I go into some more stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.